And a very good day to all my viewers out there. It is right now Saturday, April 25th, 2020. It's about 2.57 p.m., almost 3 o'clock here. And we are in Saint-Henri. And uh, definitely the most beautiful day of the year so far. They say it's plus 12 Celsius, but it feels a lot warmer than that. I actually have my jacket off and I'm just in a t-shirt today. So just to give you an idea how warm it is and I'm even sweating in the t-shirt so you can see beautiful blue sky I'll show you the sun here in a minute quickly and uh, well, yeah, we're coming up here to Notre Dame Notre Dame Street and I'm doing the I guess you could say pandemic version COVID-19 version of a walking video and uh, I definitely needed to get some exercise needed to get out of the house and that's what I'm doing today and uh, yeah you know I just figured why not take a walk around the Saint Henri neighborhood for a while and get a bit of exercise and fresh air and I think they reopened the Saint Remy tunnel which is a tunnel that goes under some train tracks I'll have to check that out and see So uh, what's happening here in terms of the pandemic? Well, there's the numbers seem to be stable, but I mean, they're not really improving that much here in Quebec. The thing that's getting hit the most in Quebec are actually the long-term senior homes, the long-term care facilities. And uh, that's a common theme, I think, everywhere. You know, you have an older population in there, vulnerable, you know, packed in. And they say even the conditions inside of those centers are not exactly the greatest even before the pandemic there's not enough staff not enough nurses I think I think there's one of them right here actually yeah so a lot of them are getting hit pretty hard as for the actual rest of society well it seems to be pretty stable they're talking about slowly opening businesses up but Montreal, Quebec is the one city that's been hit the hardest, not just in Quebec, but in all of Canada. So when I'm doing my videos here, we're actually in the epicenter of the COVID-19 outbreak here in Canada. And they're saying that, you know, if they reopen the schools and businesses, it could be other parts of Quebec first and then Montreal later on. And when this is all over with, we got to start talking about the economic impact of all this, you know, all the businesses that have been lost, people without income, also government spending, you know, the government's been spending a lot of money. And we are walking in the east direction, just for reference purposes. Yeah, so there's an example there. That's one of the seniors' homes. I don't know if this one specifically has gotten affected by it, but this is the kind of places that have been. But uh, anyways, that is it is what it is, I guess. I mean, we'll have to keep an eye on the, the numbers. All right, so we're walking now, I think more in the north direction here. And we're gonna be coming up to that underpass soon that was closed for a few years. I'm pretty sure it's reopened. Well, I took the bus around here to 37. It was reopened a couple of weeks ago. Like I said, gorgeous day today for a walk. And I'll try to do a couple more walking videos throughout the day. Different neighborhoods. There's the, is that the 37 coming by right now? I think so. Yeah, 
nice 2400 series bus, older model. A lot of people biking today, running, walking their dogs, getting exercise. But uh, you gotta watch out, it's not too much. And uh, here is Saint Remy, right here. And this building here, I think, was at one point some factory or something. Yeah, so here's the St. Remy Tunnel. It's more of an underpass than anything. Another bus going by, 78, Lorando. All right, so this site's closed. This site's opened here. And uh, yeah, look how old these buildings are. You could tell they're quite old. Looks like a garbage dump here. There, this old building here. And there is the MUHC Super Hospital. Consists of the Royal Victoria. Montreal Children's and the Shriners. And you know what, maybe I'll do my walking video from here to Vondo Metro, why not? It'd be perfect to do that. We'll walk up the little hill coming up and... What we'll do is we'll take the back of the hospital, so we'll go right through the parking lot and everything. And then there's a little entrance that takes us to Vondo Metro Station. Clean the lens off a little bit here. Yeah, nice and cool in here. Yeah, so this street here, specifically where this tunnel is, it's been closed for, for years and just recently reopened. There's a new part of the Turcot up there. Yeah, definitely need to get some exercise. Uh, being indoors so much it is important to get out and get some air. Temporary bus stop. Yeah, so right there is your new highway, relatively new. And they're still working on these highways here near the Turcot. 
and uh, even though we have that pandemic going on I still see some construction going on around here lately and I think they're about 90% finished they just have to do the finishing touches and of course this highway 20 above us I believe the uh, Ville Marie Ville Marie Expressway all right so a nice view here coming out to the hospital there's Saint Jacques Street So what we'll do is we'll take this little path here coming up, we'll go through here. Another bus going by, 77, which is the bus that goes from Lino Gru, the bus that goes from Lino Gru all the way to the hospital there, so we'll carefully cross here. And uh, yeah, where that bridge is right there, we're going to be going under there and then up here. Alright, so we'll cross over here and uh, we'll go on the sidewalk on the other side there and we'll head right up. Definitely feels like summer right now, no doubt about it. Feels good. I don't know if you could see up there, but there's a whole bunch of water coming down that building, that structure. That is a air conditioner. Now we can't walk on this side, so we gotta cross over. Uh, you know what? Let's go up there because there's another path up there. Make it a little bit more interesting. And we'll get to see that air conditioning unit up close. Wow, look at all the snails here. Wow. Gotta watch my step. Nice view. All right, so it was a nice little walk up that hill there. Kind of took a took my breath away for a bit there. But anyway, look at this beautiful view here. So we started our walking video where that tower is right underneath. And there's a nice view of this downtown skyline. Okay, so we're gonna walk this way. We're gonna check out that air conditioning unit. And this was the path I originally planned to go on, so we ended up here anyway.
Look at that. Interesting cooling system that is. There's your east wing of the hospital. There's the parking parking lot. And we'll get to see the Von Dome entrance, how it is as well. I have to do an update on that as well here. The new Von Dome project. There's your main gas line, I think, for the hospital. Okay, so... As you can see, it's closed off straight ahead, so we're going to take this way here to the left. Then we'll take the stairs over here, coming up. So nice little walking video we've done today. Current time, by the way, is 3.15pm. Uh, nice work of art here. There's your uh, commuter train line right there, train tracks. Oh, look at that, butterflies. Hey, there you go. That's the sign springs here. Wasn't expecting that. I think they're building a grocery store or something down there. And that's St. Catherine Street, by the way, over there on the other side of the train tracks. Always some kind of construction going on in Montreal. That's a, that's a guarantee. I like the shade of red. Okay, so we have to take this little side away here and we'll see the main entrance coming up. To the hospital and then we'll uh, head to Vendome underground. Now I don't think there's much progress on the Vendome project because of the pandemic. Yep, a little detour here. Ah, nice view here of the construction going on. Wow, this is new. Yeah, so this is uh, your your tunnel's going to be right here, I think, leading right to the hospital. It's going to go from here all the way down there where Rondo Metro is. This looks like roof shingles. Huh. Okay, so here we are, the 
central main entrance. And this used to be a train yard, by the way. I know uh, a couple of my viewers, George, Alfred, sent me some pictures when this used to be a train yard. Big train yard. It's called the Glen Yard. And the Glen Yard is what well, this hospital is named. The site of it is called the Glen Site. All right. And the emergency room, by the way, is you have to go into the garage to get in. I believe, because so I did a walking video there the other week. Okay, so we are now coming up to the entrance that will take us down to Vendôme. We're uh, 21 minutes into our video here. Nice little walk. I'll show you a nice shot here of the hospital. There's the construction site down there for the tunnel. Eh, I'm scared to touch doors. Alright, so here's an elevator. Through there on the other side is where the actual emergency room is and the main one of the entrances and down here is Vendome petrol station. And here's a nice view of what this tunnel is gonna look like once it's built. Right here on the wall here. Autumn 2020, which was the original date. When it was supposed to be completed, but uh, that's probably going to be pushed back to winter time. And there's uh, your commuter trains, which are still running. And here's our metro station. There's those new hand sanitizer units they're putting in all the metro stations. They're not filled up yet, but when they are, there it is. Alright, so thank you all for watching this little video, and uh, have a good day everybody. Stay healthy, more videos to come.